Morning guys. We're heading down to Cars and Coffee this morning. It's Finns of the 50s today, so I thought I'd take my 50s triumph. There's a fin on the front right, shark fin. <laughs> Well, good morning. I hope you're all doing great. It's a lovely, cool, fresh, but it's going to be hot today morning. And uh, as I mentioned, just heading down to Cars and Coffee in Sherwood. I'm going to go for a little ride first of all, because it tends to take a little while to get everyone inside. And so I'm going to let everyone have the opportunity to park there massive land yachts from the 50s and then I'll park this little thing up on the front well it's unusual that I'm being told to slow down on this Triumph <laughs> I know it was a super bike and a super sport back in the day but it doesn't feel very fast at all actually well, I think I've said this before, but this Triumph seems tiny compared to the Commando. I'm sitting over it. It's really enjoyable. It's a very sort of sporty feel with these handlebars. And I haven't changed them back to this standard bars just yet. I may do that another time. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these old 50s American cars and maybe some British cars there perhaps a few but this was the age of the rocket influenced and space influenced cars with all the fins wasn't it so I'll try and take some clips of fins this morning Feels good to blow out the cobwebs. It doesn't handle quite as well as the the more modern bikes, including the, the Note and Commando. Of course, the Commando's 20 years younger than this, and I consider that a classic. So this is, let's just say, a little squirrely. It's a bit wobbly. Do my usual pit stop just to check everything's okay. Gosh, that's a pretty looking bike, isn't it? I love the colour, I love the seat, I like that the way it bends up like that. BSAs were similar as well. Okay, let's get moving. <laughs> it's uh, certainly not as stiff going round corners, it feels a bit wallowy. It's probably mostly the tyres unfortunately. They're brand new but they're a few years old now and they've got hard. Well, this is great. Having a wonderful time. Oof, yeah. It's almost like too loose.
think it should be after eight now and so I'll mosey along and see if they're open at the gate. Well this was a very nice little ride. I enjoyed it. We'll go and see what's going on at Cars and Coffee. Thankfully, it looks a lot quieter than usual. Morning.
site. So they they said, oh my God. So we can go to my school. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed those few clips of a few fins at Cars and Coffee today. There were a few 50s cars, actually not quite as many as I thought, but um, 
the, the quality of the cars that were there was excellent so really enjoyed that I just love the iconic 50s era cars they just they just went all out didn't they with the designing and the styling cues as well and uh, some of those um, station wagons as they call them but uh, estate cars are just phenomenal they've got everything in there and they're massive aren't they so yeah that was a lot of fun met up with some friends there as well and as you can see Ron and I are riding back home together so as always thanks very much for all your support of the channel and I'll see you again next week okay see ya